Welcome back to All the Mods 9. I have not played in over a week. I just got back last night from hanging out with friends and family, and I am actually super excited to get into things. I just don't remember where I left off. I know that I did a lot of stuff, uh, but I don't know exactly what the next steps were. So, it was this just got renewable glowstone? Can now make automated gold with nether predictions. Oh, we can. We just have to set up a crafter. Ooh. Should we do that? Let's see. There is. Here we go. RF tools. I believe this is exactly the one that I need. Let's make a few of these, huh? I believe this is. I, be, I think this is what I need. God, I have not played Minecraft in a while, which is actually pretty cool because, you know, it does keep, like I mentioned before, it keeps everything fresh for me. Is this, this is my pattern grid, this is my fluid. Okay, we have a ton of XP, good lord almighty. Go, chicken. Ah, <laughs> what's up, bud? Okay, yep, you go, go ahead and go outside, okay. All right, automated crafting, automated crafting. Do we have in our backpack? No, we don't. Enter gate. We have any nice we do okay i want to see if i can remember how to do this because i have not done it in a minute so i'm probably just gonna set it right here and now i need to look up gold i need to go to a gold recipe this one here okay so this is the one generalized generalized nether prediction glowstone dust and gold ingot do i have glowstone what was I saying about just got renewable glowstone? Is that from down here? See, now I got to remember what I did. I think it's from the witch, right? Glowstone dust. What drops you? I believe it is a witch's. Yeah, it's the witch. Okay, so the witch drops glowstone for us. Um, so that's what I meant by that. I'm going to take all the glowstone out of my storage here and we will chuck it all in the backpack and then we will do this sweet all right so now the glowstone's in there and that does mean that we can have automated gold it will be slow because we only have glowstone right there but that's cool oh and i did i did have a i did have some things i had a thought a thunk a thonk about mystical agriculture right so, what I think a good compromise would be later on is once I already come up with a method to earn something renewably, i.e. glowstone dust, then I believe it is okay to make the seeds. I'm not going to do that just right now, but I do think that that could be a compromise that I make with myself, uh, and I, I think I'm okay with that. But we'll we'll see later on if I think if I think differently. But for now, we will go ahead and oh, do I need the items already? I might nether. So we have some generalized nether predictions. What about what do we have currently pumping right now? We have wither skeletons, wither, wither, and wither. How many nether stars do we have? Two point one k only. Mm, we also. With the nether stars, since we have a slot here, we might go ahead and put those there. I think that might not be a bad idea. Hey, get out of here. Thank you. Well, let's go ahead and move this one here. Let's move this to right there. And then we need our looking tool. Got to right-click this. Right-click that. There we go. And we'll do our nether stars. Compacting drawer. We need a compacting drawer. And we'll put that there. Grab another star here, drop that in there, grab this, lock this, and we need an importer, or exporter, rather, grab these, drop that on now, get some cables, do that, and then go into here, mether, mether stars, the mother of the nether star, it's the mether, god damn Dang it, I cannot type right now. I haven't played in so long, so we'll do that. Stack, upgrade, oh no. Just gonna need a ton of these anyway. Oh man, we're already out of that. 
We'll just make all these right here, and then we'll make another stack upgrade. We always need so many of these, don't we? So we'll do that. This thing will pump those out. We're gonna need an upgrade, a copper upgrade. We'll grab three of these. And we'll just chuck them on in now. All right, all the nether stars are out. Let's look it up. Okay, they're all gone. Perfect. Now, add. There we go. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good idea because later on, those things are just going to get pumped out like crazy. Uh, so I think it's a good idea for us to go ahead and make sure that we already have that externally stored because once we start uh, once we start pumping out those things for real, it's gonna be ridiculous. How many of these do we have? Or not that, uh, these. So we still have a few, that's good. But that means that we're gonna need to go ahead and start going with some auto crafting, which is nice. And I'm just gonna put this temporarily here so I can see if I can remember the damn recipe. Uh, can I? Do this not gold war gold ingot I wonder if I can go ahead and do that does that work awesome okay so we have to do that and then we can click this and do this apply okay sweet beautiful all right so that recipe is set to make gold ingots um, now we can set it to make sand but I don't what can we make with generalize generalize ender is there anything I can make with this that is all renewable. Is soul sand renewable? I need nether essence. Okay, that might be a thing we need. Oh, well, no, never mind. We have sand here, and we can make sand. So we don't need nether essence. We can bypass that by going with the sand route with this. So we can auto craft sand, then we can auto craft. Um, then we can auto craft soul sand, and then we can also get the wither skulls because we have the wither skull fragments. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Whoops and upgrade it. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this all the way, like so. And, hmm. Well, for now, I'll just, I'll just yoink it back down here. Uh, we're gonna have to move this damn sign if we put it here, so let's not do that. Yeah, we'll just put it down here and put it right, y'all. Then we'll grab this here. We'll throw it on the front. And we will dig behind this as well. Um, I think I'll move that actually back even more. Oh, hell. What did I do? Oh, rip. What is this connected to? I think my iron farm? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave that there. Alright, now we can put the crafter down right here. And then we can drop... Damn it. We can drop this here. And now we're gonna need importer, which we're probably... Probably going to need an elite, not importer. Damn it, we're not going to need an elite importer. We're going to need an elite exporter so we can export everything that we need. Let's do those. Make. Oh, I already have quite a few. All right, sweet. And then we'll make. We need to make these. Let's just check those in the furnace right here. And we'll go ahead and upgrade this to an elite exporter. And we will put the exporter on top, and we'll put an importer on the back, and then we will get some cable, like so. So this will make gold ingots, and then we also need, uh, was it sand? Um, do I want to use all that right now for sand? Maybe, maybe I do. Well, we also need clay. What does clay take? Yeah, it takes water and dirt. Okay, so we'll do clay, we'll apply that, then we'll do sand, regular sand, we'll do that. Now we need, um, shoot. Ah, ah, I need to think, of, okay, so there's a better way to do this. Uh, so we'll forget, can I remove this recipe? Okay, we'll just do that, apply that. And the way that I can do this actually is, I can just do that with a crafter instead. For those anyway, for something that I don't want to always be going. So we'll go ahead and make crafter. And I'll explain why I'm doing this after I have the crafter done. Iron crafter, and then we'll upgrade this to a gold crafter, which needs this. 
Make the gold crafter here, and then, ah, diamond crafter. How many diamonds do we have? Do we have under 100 diamonds? No, well, yeah, we do. Good lord. Oh, we have the diamond horse armor here. Let's go ahead and make a salvager then. Okay, that's this is just to get us some diamonds. That'll go into the salvager. Salvager will cook them up, then they'll get output. Or rather, I was hoping they'd go into that barrel, but that's not how that's going to work. Um, shoot. So what I can do instead, actually, is just do this. Like so. There we go. And that'll take all the diamonds out of there. That'll get us some diamonds. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue making this. All right, netherite crafter achieved. Okay, then we can add this onto the network here. No, you silly goober. Just point straight. There we go. Okay. So, the reason I was making the netherite crafter here, in, or a crafter in general, doesn't have to be netherite, is because with this, with this crafter here, as long as stuff is exporting to it, it'll just continue and continue to craft. We want that to happen with the gold, um, just because it's not using, like we're, we're passively getting a ton of iron, we're going to be getting these passively as well, and we're passively getting glowstone. Uh, and three of the three of these things will have way too much iron to worry about it always crafting that it's not going to bother me. Um, these as well and the glowstone, I don't care about any of these. But for things like our fire essence and dirt essence, we might want to save some of that just in case we need to craft it for something else. So what we can do is instead we set up a netherite crafter and we set some patterns into here so it knows how to craft them. Then we set up an external storage and then we tell the external storage that we want to always make sure that we have a certain amount of items in stock. And we're going to use this for the prediction matrixes and other things as well. So that's why we went through this whole process to make this crafter here. Because I would like the crafter downstairs not to continuously and continuously and continuously craft and craft everything that we have. Um, so we always have some stuff in stock. Uh, yes, the prediction matrixes will get used a lot, but I feel like this is a better idea in general, uh, just so we can have some auto crafting from our refined storage network instead. You could argue either way if you wanted, uh, but this is how my brain said, yeah, it'd be better to do this, so that's why I'm doing this <laughs> instead. Damn, we already have 900 blaze rods. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. Okie dokie. Now, we need... External storage, need one of these, and then we're going to need an interface. Quit earning XP. Oh, you have this one here. Huh? You got looting on that mode. You always know what to say, don't you? Stop that. Where do we want to put this? Now we're running out of space up here. Good lord almighty. So we'll just drop this. Screw it, we'll just drop it right here. And we'll put the external storage thing on here. And now we need to get a craft. What is it? Refined. We need a crafting upgrade. So the system will know how to craft. And it looks like we're going to need more god dang quartz iron. So let's grab this. And we toss that into here. Okay, now we're going to tell it that we want to always have quartz iron in here and we're going to tell it we always want to have 64 now we need to tell this to extract only so it only takes things out of the network it doesn't put things in and then but since this is a part of the network everything that's in this interface can be seen so the reason it only has 61 right now is because it doesn't know how to make quartz iron which we need to go up to the pattern grid and tell it we need to tell the crafter here how to make it. And then the interface downstairs says, oh, there's a pattern in the grid. Now I know how to make it. And now it'll make what we need. Isn't that something? Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool, I think. So now we need to look at this prediction matrix and see all of what it needs. We're already getting passive iron. We need to know how to make gold. 
But we already have the crafter downstairs that's going to work on the gold, so we can go ahead and refrain from that. But we do need to tell it how to make clay. So we make this pattern here. Now we know how to make clay. Awesome. Okay. But it also needs glass panes, so we need to tell this thing how to make sand. So we tell it how to make sand. All right, sweet. Now is where we need to hook this iron furnace up to our system so it can craft things and i think i'm gonna go ahead and just do that uh, and we'll put a crafter right there on the side because we need to have a furnace within our grid in order to run processing recipes like cooking sand into glass so let's go ahead and make a crafter and we'll make it an iron crafter just because and we'll see if it'll work Nope, it went the wrong way. Maybe I have to place it towards the block that I want it to craft from. Like that? Okay. Now, damn it, did I put the cables away again? Where are my cables? Oh, they're in my inventory. Duh. So now, just do this, I guess. Which I don't particularly like, but I didn't want to have a hole there. Um, okay, so now the crafter's charged. Or it's a part of the network, so now... We need to go back to the pattern grid here and we need to tell it that we want to make glass so go to a furnace style recipe for sand smelting and then tell it make glass so now you see it changed to a processing recipe and now we take this pattern and then we can drop it into here because it says netherite furnace and now okay now the furnace knows that it can take in sand and make glass sweet and we'll drop these in here so our system knows how to make uh, clay and sand and then we need to tell it to make glass panes so now we'll tell it how to make glass panes whoops i need to right click into the pattern grid go here say hey make glass panes so the reason this is blue here when i hover over this that means hey your network knows how to make this so that's how you know that your patterns are in here so that you know your system can make what you're trying to make. Oops, I already made another pattern of that. Whoops. Uh, but we, that's okay. We can throw this pattern back in here. And now we can tell it that we want it to make prediction matrixes as well. So now we should have every piece of what we need in this crafter here. So it knows exactly how to make all of them. And the great thing about this is now we don't have to tell it to store everything from that recipe. We can just tell it that we want prediction matrixes only and that we want 64 of them. So now you see our system is making them, it's making them, and that's because of this freaking chest right here. So it's just gonna continue to make them until this is full, uh, which might not be the best idea that this thing is so massive, but we will have a ton of them in storage. And I think we're going to probably run out of glass. We're doing okay. Um, but we do need to tell this to export all of the items from the glass recipe. So that's Or for the gold recipe. So that's going to be iron. You tell it to export some iron. The nether prediction. And glowstone dust. So it'll export that. This will craft the gold. And this should output it, but I think we're going to need to put a stack upgrade in here. There we go. Look at that. It is crafting all of it. I hope that it will leave spots for the generalized predictions. I'm sure it's not going to. Looks like it might just continue to import iron, which I hope it doesn't fill it up completely. Okay, so I need to, I need to come up with a solution here for this. Yeah, because now this is full, so it's never going to get the generalized nether predictions. But it did. It did work, right? <laughs> it did. It did work. Uh, while we had the generalized nether predictions, maybe. Hmm, I have to do a think here. This is really. This is a really interesting thing to do here. Oh, you know what I could do instead? I could make the other crafter from Ender IO. That that crafter down there is really useful for like Inferium auto crafting. Uh, but I think. For this one, I need to use the Ender IO crafter. I believe this one will. Oh, I'm going to need to get grains of infinity, which I need a flint and steel for. 
And then I have to go down to bedrock and light it on fire. So let's go ahead and do that. Do we have a waystone den in our mine? We don't. What? What am I doing? Let's go ahead and make one. So in the future, I will have one. Toss that in there. Away. And it's been a while since we've come down here, huh? <laughs> Yeah, see, I didn't even think about that with the uh, with the auto crafter there. I didn't even think about that export issue, but that's why we can use these crafters uh, from Ender IO because they don't have so many slots, and it only takes in what it can actually use. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. These will turn into what we need, and you can actually make seeds for these as well. Hurry up and give me what I need. Thank you. There we go. We got a Grains of Infinity. Another one. And we get Arcane Debris. Which... Can you, be, uh, you can be blasted into Arcane Salvage, which then is turned into an empty upgrade orb. Interesting. And those are needed for the Caliburn. Yeah, these right here are needed to upgrade the Caliburn sword. Right here. Um, this sword right here... It can have a crap ton of damage. Its base damage is very low, but you can upgrade this continually with a Mahotsukai mana bar. You have to upgrade your mana. Uh, after you get 5,000 mana, you make a lake of power or something. Then, with the Caliburn, you can put sharpness or you put smite on the sword, and you throw it into the lake, it consumes the enchantments to increase the damage of the sword. Uh, and then you can just repeat that process. But it has a cap. It says N8 cap here, 10,000. But when you craft it, it's actually 500 or it's 100. I can't recall. Um, but the cap is low, which means that's the cap of damage that you can get onto it. But if you use these Ender upgrade orbs, you can increase the cap on the Caliburn. It's pretty cool. You can have 810 at damage. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this down. The mine. Maybe we can go back home. Let's move home up to here. Go home. Okie dokie. So we got grains of infinity now. Ender IO crafter. And we need to make one of these. And then some gears. So let's go ahead and make a crafter here. And we will take that off. And we need to drop all of this. Oh, we need to turn our pickup on. I'll toss this into our inventory. So now we can set up a crafter. We're going to need a transistor, right? A tra uh, capacitors. Okay, so it needs capacitors. So we need to make a capacitor here. Ooh, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and make some grains of infinity seeds. This is another one of those seeds that can't really be... Uh, there's no other way to really automate it besides this. So we're just going to do this. And we'll make some grains of infinity seeds so we can have grains of infinity and we're gonna use these crafters here for some base base crafting uh, recipes where we don't have stuff all the time like we didn't have those nether predictions all the time uh, and we'll use these for recipes like that uh, the other crafter that I made we can use for inferium so that'd be cool Oh, whoops, I forgot to go plant these. Let's go plant them then. Go down here. We'll remove one of the wheats. Ouch, ouch. So, goodbye wheat. And there we go. I also did see a video about how to make an even better farm <laughs> while I was on holiday. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to do something like that. It was from Pilpo, I think, if you guys know him. He did something with a pylon, like a harvesting pylon. So I think I want to try that out and see how much faster it is. And also he didn't use the farmland from Mystical Agriculture either. He used some kind of red fertilizer. So I'll look into that. I think that could be pretty neat to try out. Could be pretty cool, I think. Um, but anyway, all right, we have those seeds down. We want to go ahead and upgrade this, which we're going to need energetic alloy. And we need an alloy smelter. Here we go. Now we're getting into some more mods, baby. Need another stone gear. Just make a few of those then. Need another void chassis. Okay. And a cauldron. Oh, we have, we doubled our gold though with those uh, ender predictions that we had. So that's neat. Let's go ahead and grab this alloy smelter here. I'll just chuck it down here. I think it needs, oh, it does need a transistor or a capacitor. 
We have to toss one in there, sadly. Uh, and we need our ender gate. Just leave this right here for now. It's getting power. That's good. And if we want to upgrade this, well, let's go ahead and make one more, though. We're going to need coal dust and energetic alloy. Okay. So we're going to need these three things. Actually, it's time to make another crafter. <laughs> here we go, baby. Oh, man. This is where I'm going to start to get into auto crafting, huh? Look at me go. That means we probably want to clear out an area then. Good lord, because I'm going to be doing a ton of this. I guess today is that's the focus, to get everything set up. Sure, we could go exploring and whatever, but why would I do that when I could just sit here and set up auto crafting? We'll see what I want to do. Uh-oh. Goodbye, water puddle from when I first started. You will be missed. Okay. And then with this, is this like an odd number? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, perfect. It's eleven. That's good for me. I like that. I like it, Picasso. And then we can even this out here. I think that's what I'll do here. I'll even this out. Ooh, we still have our... <laughs> oh, yes, our lava. I forgot. I got to set this up to export to our network as well. That could be pretty cool. Okay, so here... Uh, I'm going to need to move these animals too. But what I'll do is... I want to have it probably go out to here. I'll replace the dirt with something else. We'll have this go out to here. And then we will build onto that. Yeah, I'll probably do something like this. Um, I'll do like dirt on the outside and then we'll do the lab. We'll do like the white concrete or whatever down here, down below. I think that could look pretty neat because then it'll actually go outside and we can have a door going into the lab here as well. Could be cool. That could be like a little compromise thing that I do. <laughs> Just my research lab. Yep, that could be fine. I think I'm okay with that. Alrighty, let's uh, get rid of this. Then we can move everything. Um, it'll look pretty good. Pretty neat and decent. Might want to uh, close this in by one on each side. Now I'll leave it open like this. I think that's okay. All right. Um, is it nighttime? Can I go to sleep? Good night. Concrete, huh? How do I make white concrete? Need white concrete powder, which needs white dye. How can I get white dye from bone meal? I think I have a lot of bones. Hold on, I need... A mortar to make bone meal now? Oh, there we go. Do that, and then make some white dye. Then we need white concrete powder. Okay. Oh, we don't know how to make gravel. Whoops. Do we not have stone essence? We don't have stone seeds. Do we? We need that. Uh, just for the auto crafting of gravel and stuff. Yep, for things like that, for like gravel, pfft, I don't freaking care. That's uh, I'd I'd like to have a way to auto get gravel like that. I'm sure there's another way, but I already have water essence getting pumped, so yeah. Or sorry, dirt essence. So stone seeds, yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it live. G goodbye wheat. Thank you. Oh, I'm not magnetizing everything into my backpack now. Hmm. Go in there. Um, why not? Oh, I don't have a magnet on. Bleh. Advanced pickup. Upgraded to a magnet. Here we go. Okay. And now I think we just need to cook this. Oh no, we need to use water essence for it. All right. Give me that. Give me all the white concrete. All right, sweet. Now, do I have my building wand? I do. So now we can do this. I'm probably going to want to break the whole damn floor. Go ahead and do this. Then we'll do that and that there. And we'll do a line of glass running across that. Let's make some connected glass. Um, actually, what we could do is do craftables, glass, 
Make 64 glass. Wait a minute. Why aren't you doing the thing? Make glass. Hey. Oh. I see. Yep. Input. There you go. Yeah, make glass. You're not even fast enough, huh? I need to make a faster crafter for you. Um, okay, so now we can make connecting glass. Like so. Oop. Okay, cool. Now we can do a glass, a line of glass here. Then we can get some natural light down there. Is that good? Oh. Okay. All right. We have natural light. Might even do the strip here, too. There we go. Three lines of natural light coming in. I like that. Cool. Neat. Then we'll do this. Whoops. God dang it. Go back. There we go. Okay. The starts of something, I guess. Now it looks okay. It looks okay. <laughs> That's it. It just looks okay. Clear out the floor too, I guess. Boon of the earth, baby. Ooh, you know what I could do instead? Could be smart about it. Just do a uh, small tunnel like so. Get rid of all that. Whoops, all the way out to there. Good lord, look at all this aluminum here. And then, just do this. Yeah, there we go. I like that. We're prettying stuff up, you know what I mean? Is what, what are you doing? Are you still doing glass? Oh, are the, do you need more glass for the prediction matrixes? Yeah, you do, okay. Well, hey, you're working now at least, right? That's our gold, we're down already 300, good lord. Okay, we have 100 nether, nether predictions, so now we really need to get this thing going, but since we, are turning this into a lab. We'll leave this wall for what we're going to do with those. And I can get started on this side. But I'm going to need a cable running over there. So what I might do is... Because I can run a cable under and over to here. Because I definitely need a cable over here. I didn't do that. Need, you need more cable. Let's go ahead and make some... Can I do this? Will that work? Did that work? It did! Nice. Except it went very, very far. Okay, it only went to there. I think. How far did my mining thingy go? Oh, it didn't go anywhere else. Cool. Okay, sweet. So that worked. That was awesome. Um, Go ahead and then we can do this up to here. Do that. Then we can make this go to here and there. And then we can just take the cable up like so. All right, dang it, just do that, whatever. Uh, okay, we have cables over here now, that's good. And which means I'm gonna need to shift these cables back one to match how I'm gonna have this because I want to have it in the wall means that spot's going to need to be open because I want to have importers on the back of these like so. All right, I guess exporters on top. And how do I want to do power? I can do power. I can do power cables running below. Yeah, we can do that. I can do it with this cable here. Down like this. Yeah, let me just run the cables along here. Whoa, no. <laughs> that didn't work, did it? Whoops. Whoops. Okay. Anyway. Actually, I want to move it back one. So it looks more prettier. Like so. Do that. 
and then just concrete that there. There we go. Okay, that'll look fine. Now it'll hopefully take power from the bottom. We can run power here. I was gonna use um, I was gonna use these power gates, but I think this is just fine. Let me just what is, what am I pressing for that? Magnet on off. I don't know. Anyway, okay. Spruce stairs. Now I need that alloy smelter. Did I put it away? I did. Okay. Grab this. I'll move the crafter. Put the alloy smelter right here. It's getting power. That's good. And ooh, now we need a spot for crafters too. I mean, I could put crafters on the front. It would look weird, huh? Well, oh man, damn it. Dang it. Yeah, silly gooba. There we go. Is it a alloy smelter now? Nice. It's gonna look a little weird. It will. I agree. I know that. That's okay. It's okay. It's totally fine, and I'm not irked by it at all. Um, okay, now we need to go to the pattern, pattern grid, and I need to see how to make these, so then I can tell it this recipe here. Grab that. Now I need to see how to make the next level of one. This one, and I'm going to need this in the alloy smelter as well. Okay, so these two patterns here can go in this crafter down here, like so. And, and then you shift left click to craft the things that you can craft and this should, yep, there we go, dropped it in there and now it's cooking, that's good. There we go, it's getting taken out as well. Very nice. Now we are making alloy. Now I also need cold dust. I just need an iron mortar, which I need wrought iron for. How do I get wrought iron? How do I get wrought iron, man? Don't tell me I have to use Greg Tech, dog. You better not say that. There has to be a different way. There has to be a different way, please. How do I get wrought iron? Oh, please tell me there's a different way. Ah, you just smelt iron nuggets. Okay, oh, okay, all right, I'm, I'm fine with that. That's okay. I was about to be very upset. Why aren't you changing with JEI? There we go. Brought iron nugget, like so, and then we do this. Okay, now we can push this into here and tell our system that we want to make some of these. Can I put an upgrade into here? Speed. I already have one. Can I drop it into here? Here we go. Nice. Okay. I can. So let's go ahead and, uh, ooh, you know what I could do is, since I always want these, oh yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. Do we have spiders over there? I need string. I need to make sure we have string coming through. We do. Okay, sweet. All right, cool, yo. And we have slimes over there too. So, time to make some more patterns. I'm about to go dummy on these. I'm about to make it, so... What the hell? These are not the same patterns? Well, anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into these. And we're going to go ahead and get these things started. Let's get this thingy made. This one made. Now is where things get interesting so then we're gonna do all those all those three and we will toss those into there now go back to the pattern grid we need to get the cooked versions grab that one grab this that one too all right sweet and then we do this boom boom boom, boom. those three in there and we toss this one in here Coolio. Now we can come down here. Hey, hey, hey. Processor. Now we can do that, that, and that. 
Tell it that I always want 64 of those, always want 64 of those, and always want 64 of those. Beautiful, sweet. Uh, nether quartz. Is there a good way to get these besides the seeds? A block of quartz? Nope. Don't think so. Oh, we can do antimatter. That's super late game, though. And you have to turn light gray wool into quartz? Well, 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 it looks like we're going to get some more seeds. More seeds it is, then. Yep, we're doing it live. We're getting seeds cooking now. Goodness. You can't avoid it forever, can you? When there's when there's no other way, guess I'm going to do it. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? You angry bastard. That was scary, man. <laughs> like, actually. He really just ran up on me like that. That was so scary, bro. You know what? It was him. He was saying, I am not happy with you making these seeds. That's what he was saying. I heard it. He said it. Y'all heard it, too. What a, what a punk, man. What a punk. Okay, so now we have those seeds, and now we need to tell the crafter how to make that. So we'll go up to here and make it learn, learn another thing. There we go. Uh, but now we should always have these in here. And now I'm going to also do a core. Do the construction core and deconstruction core. So we'll do this. And we'll have some of those as well. And we'll do this as well. But it needs to learn how to make those too. So we'll do core. And do this. Do this. Okay. Bam. Now we should have all this refined storage stuff sticking into our system. Sweet. I like to see that. We need to upgrade. We need to put some speed upgrades into there. But what's really nice, since we set up all that crafting stuff, oh, we need to tell it how to make upgrades as well. Dang it. I thought I was slick. Even though that's my name, I still wasn't slick, would I? We'll put that in there. Do I want to tell it to hold upgrades as well for me? Am I going to be like that? No. But I want it to know how to make them, I guess. So let's go into here. Oops. Craftables. Let's just go ahead and make 16. Oh, we're missing. I don't need. Con oh, man. I did the wrong pattern. Whoops. So throw this back into here. And we'll take out the connecting glass. We just need glass. Should be able to drag this into there. There we go. It's a regular glass. There we go. Do that. And then go back into here. Craft those. Oh, we're missing fire essence. Interesting. Just craft me four then. We are running out of fire essence. And then we'll just chuck those in there. So this thing will just go really fast. Yeah, those uh, prediction matrixes down here. You guys are kicking, huh? You're getting up there. You guys are self-aware, you're not yet. But you guys are still kicking off. We're up to 2.9k stars, that's good. You're done with whatever you were doing. Now we can get into more crafting. But yeah, man, see, auto crafting, dude. I'm all over the damn place, but that's what I like to be, man. I like this stuff. It's so cool, so cool and neat and stuff. Did I already put the, I did, okay. So I want to upgrade you to this and I need coal dust, which means I need an iron Oh, I just need a mortar. Oh, I don't need a rot. A rot mortar. I just needed a mortar. Well, we'll just make a damn iron one then. I don't care. I thought I needed to do something cool. I did not. I made all that rot iron for nothing. We'll just make a bunch of coal dust and screw it. I don't care. Who do you think I am? You do need to tell it how to make this though too, huh? The grains of infinity. So let's make to more of these because we want to make oh, we're gonna need to make that and what we can do instead is do this and it should go faster now here we go and then damn it let me in my storage then we can do this and then we go here and do that oh we're gonna need to make more go ahead and do your thing because we want to keep that uh capacitor in there and then we can do this here and now we need if we want to upgrade it to the next level we need to do that 
Then we can upgrade it to, oh, we need glowstone. Now we can have a octatic. We'll just throw this in here. It's the highest level one. Now we can start with our crafter. <laughs> what a process, eh? What a freaking process. Uh, with this one, it'd be much more simple. Need an importer. Like so. I mean, an exporter, which we can just craft because we have it doing that. Oh, that's another thing I need to make a pattern for. Which I'll just take the wrought iron out. Where's the wrought iron at? Right in here. Take that out. And because I don't freaking need that, apparently. And I will make refined cable. Do this one here. Nope. We just need regular glass. Quit putting that in there. I don't need that. There we go. We'll drop that into there. Sand. Do I have other sand? I do have other sand. I have black sand. Is this outputting sand? No. I'll just tell it to output the black sand. I guess the mossy black sand can't be cooked, but this can be cooked into glass. Let's just do that. Now we have that. And then we will go down here. God dang it. Go here and we'll go find cable. Drop this into here and tell it we always want 64. There we go. Nice. Nice. That's our gold. We are running out of gold. Jesus. Okay. All right. Go. Can I just... There we go. Yeah. I, I'm running out of freaking gold, man. I need to set this up first. So we'll drop that in there. And now we need gold. Which means I'm going to need iron. Can I drag and drop into here too? No, I can't. Damn it. Uh, I'm going to need one iron, a glowstone, and a prediction. Come here. So now we can go here. Do this. Do this. And do this. Sweet. So that will work now. Now we just need to put an exporter on like so. And tell it to take these three things. This will craft them. And it'll get output. There we go. Go into here and we'll just drop a speed upgrade in there. We're going to need another one. So we'll put another speed upgrade in there. All right. Looks like I can keep up. Sweet. This, this is the better way to do it here than that other crafter I was using because it only will allow it to input what it needs. So this exporter here, because they're kind of dumb and they just keep pushing stuff this will allow it to continuously work. It won't ever push too many, which is really nice. So now we have gold auto crafting working as long as we have generalized predictions. Do I have other models? I do, I have wither skeleton models. So let's go ahead and put another one in here then. Let's uh, yoink this one out so we can have more gold coming in. We'll probably make some more simulation chambers. But before we do that, I'm going to end the episode right here. Thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. Did you see that it took 48 minutes of a video for me to get to auto-crafting gold? Isn't that something? That's just how all the mods works. But now we have a lab downstairs where we can set up our auto-crafting, set up more of these simulation chambers, set up more of our interfaces for external storage. So I'm really excited. We are getting right into things right after my holiday. And I actually played a lot more than I expected, but if I were to edit the rest down, the video would be around like two hours long. So this was a really good spot for me to stop. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the next video for you guys. I hope you all take care and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.